Managing the traffic in City Skylines 2 can be problematic and let's be real here, there are a lot of people, me included, who don't really care too much about their traffic in the city and they like to focus on other things. But the reality is, traffic is very important in City Skylines 2 because it is your lifeblood and the moment that stops working, you will have a major issue at your hand and a major crisis. So I'm hoping with this video you will not do the same mistakes as I did and you will have a much easier way to make your traffic go from A to B without any traffic jams. To make this very clear, this is not a guide where I explain one by one how to build perfect traffic. Um, that might be at some point down the road, but that is not what this video is about. It is about to not make the same mistakes as I did and hopefully give you some tips which will help you to get the traffic flow. So this immediately leads us to the very first and most important part in building your traffic is build with a purpose. You want to make it so that your traffic can easily go from A to B in the fastest way possible without a lot of interruptions. You can see it right here. I screwed this up, right? I have a lot of traffic here. It's stuck. And this is because the AI is not very smart. And you might think, hmm, this doesn't look too problematic. Why is there a traffic jam? Because the AI is stupid. You can see it right here. The AI created their own traffic jam just so they are using this why have a deactivated parking lot to circumvent one traffic light. Yes, they will drive around here, as you can see, just to circumvent that traffic light and not have to wait for the traffic light. And this is how they created the traffic jam. Because again, the AI is pretty stupid and you don't want that to happen. So please, when you build a road, make it so that you know exactly where this road starts and where it leads to. And then make it a one-way road, make it a big road if you have to, but make it so that the traffic cannot be easily interrupted and that there aren't too many paths to go into different roads. Like as I did it here, I screwed up. This was one of my biggest issue roads at the beginning because there was traffic coming from here, there was traffic coming from here, from here and from here, and it was just a shit show. Please don't do that build roads with a purpose and don't let too many roads intersect because it might actually slow down the traffic significantly. Now, talking about intersections, let's talk about the good old roundabout. You might think, well, roundabout might actually alleviate those problems. Um, yes, in a world where the traffic is not absolutely that stupid, it would work. But I had literally NPCs being trapped in a roundabout forever and just going in circles. Or some NPCs were literally stopping inside of the roundabout and saying, well, this is my life now. So please, if you use roundabouts, make it so that the two or even like three, mostly two traffic sites cannot really interact with each other too much. And then roundabouts kind of work and where there's also not too much traffic. But I had roundabouts like here and it was just a pain in the ass. The AI cannot operate with roundabouts. They might fix this in a few days, weeks or months. But right now roundabouts do make things more complicated than they actually help you. So don't use them too often. Next thing is, well, if I'm working with a lot of intersections, I probably have to make a decision if I want to use traffic lights or if I want to use the good old stop signs, right? So what does work better? Well, the answer is traffic lights are really good in City Skylines 2. No, seriously, they are really, really good. They are managing your traffic pretty well because they are smart traffic lights. So the traffic lights know where the traffic is coming from, right? So let's say here, we don't really have traffic coming from the other intersections and most of the traffic is coming from here, from the highway. And because the traffic light knows that, this traffic light will stay on green as long as there's no other traffic coming from the other side. So they have a green wave and they can just drive around the corner without any big issues. 
So that's the reason why traffic lights are really good, especially if you don't have too much traffic coming from all the intersections. So yes, traffic lights are your friends and they really help to manage the flow of the traffic in your city. Speaking of managing the flow, did you sometimes thought, man, you know what would be great? If I could just remove those stupid crosswalks, because every time the traffic light is switching to green, people are just going over the crosswalk and they are stopping my traffic. Well, you can. You can actually remove those. It took me two weeks to figure this out, I kid you not, because it wasn't very obvious to me, but my community helped me and made me understand how it works. You just click on the crosswalk and then you do right click. See? And then the crosswalk disappears and there is no interruption anymore with your traffic flow. Wait a minute, Mo. But they are still like NPCs walking over the street. Yeah, I assume this is a bug or they are doing some jaywalking, but it's still better than having a crosswalk actually interrupting the flow of your traffic. Now, with that said, before you are going on a killing spree when it comes to the crosswalks, please make sure that the NPCs who are walking around still have some crosswalks where they can easily go from A to B, because if you don't have that, I can guarantee you there will be a lot of jaywalking happening on your streets and you don't really want that. So be aware of that. With that said, we are at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this helpful, please don't forget to leave a like. If you have still some questions or you want to give some useful tips to your other city builder uh, folks out there, please let us know down below in the comments. And also, if you're new to the channel, you want to see more strategy games, then I would appreciate if you might consider to subscribe. With that said, thank you so much for watching and stay safe and I'll see you next time.